Today's an exciting day because today is the day we're going to take a quick peek into the exciting world of virtual machines. And I'm going to show you how to download and run free, legal, full versions of Microsoft Windows to run as VMs. Asterisk, giant one over my face, these versions of Windows are time limited to 90 days. That's three months. That's still a long time. Don't be a cheapskate. And this version of VirtualBox that we're going to download to run VMs, that's free forever but the Windows ones are free for 90 days. Let's go. First, we're gonna download VirtualBox from our friends at Oracle. You'll need this to run virtual machines. Head to this VirtualBox page and click the Downloads link. You notice you can get it for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Solaris. So say you have a Mac and you wanna run some Windows stuff on it, albeit for 90 days, this is the ticket. We'll download that, it's a relatively quick download, but while that's going on, we'll cruise over to Microsoft's Edge and Internet Explorer testing site. This is where we get the full Windows virtual machines, albeit time capped at 90 days, running Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10. I'm gonna download a Windows 10 VM to run on my actual Windows 10 machine, because why the hell not? Okay, so both these things are downloaded. We've got VirtualBox, which we'll need to install first, and then the Windows 10 VM, which we'll need to unzip and run once VirtualBox is installed. So once you've stepped through the VirtualBox installation, you can uncheck this option to start it, or you can start it if you want, I'm not, I'm, I'm not your dad. Then we'll extract the Windows VM that we downloaded from Microsoft to a folder on our desktop. Open the folder and you'll find a single .ova file. Double click on that and VirtualBox will pop up pre-populated with the VM import data from Microsoft. Now again, I'm not your dad, but double check the settings here. I like to give my VMs half my available CPUs. I have a quad core machine, so this gets two cores, and half my RAM, I have eight gigs, this gets four. You can change all this stuff later too. Then hit import and in a few minutes you should be good to go. Double click the machine in the list here, wait for it to boot, and there you go. Surf the web willy-nilly, install questionable apps, throw viruses at it, have a ball. You can nuke this when you're done with it, and it's all for free. As long as you have a decent internet connection, this entire process takes about 10 minutes, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the Windows versions are only free for 90 days. It's still three months, it's a long time, so maybe once a quarter, you can redo your Windows virtual machines, Have it make it like a festive, quarterly, nerdly event with cake and punch that one of the cooler nerds can spike, so like the nerdier nerds get really drunk and stuff. I hope that's never a real scenario in real life.